Hi, just wanted to go over a couple of things with Gabby that are very important for you guys to understand. One of them, I need to grab this, so. Um, oh, this is far too big. I, uh, so Gabby has to be drawn to you for focus. You saw in some of the uh, video we did, she does not love to pay attention, but she will pay attention. And the important aspect of that is you guys are gonna to have to reinforce that with her to make sure she pays attention to you, get some eye contact. Um, even if you have to hold something in your hand, you know, whether it be a ball, whether it be something initially, or to continue to contain her attention towards you. She will listen, she knows her commands. You're gonna do sit, down, heel, wait, stay, and come with her. Um, the, the real important aspect is you are going to want to, uh, again, get the leash and the collar as we showed. Uh, it's important you follow the steps that I sent you on YouTube uh, or on the uh, YouTube marker or whatever that tells you which videos to watch. They're all in there. There's a lot of them. Ignore the ones that say dog final, whatever, like, like uh, Gabby's final and whatever but if you'll go to all those work with them and and follow the instructions gabby's going to do fantastic now the rushing of the door and the rushing to the door what you need to do is even if you have to buy an extra leash and an extra chain or slip lead it's really important that you get that and you're going to need to do 90 percent of everything you do with gabby right now on a leash you're gonna to have to make her obey. You're gonna to have to utilize a crate and you're gonna to have to put her in a crate. She hates the crate. You already know that. We worked with her a lot. Even this morning, we get her in it. She goes in it fine. She hates the crate. But the bottom line is she needs to be able to go in a crate. So if your doorbell rings, you put a leash on her, have something sitting up by the door, Put a leash on her and then control her. Again, all you're doing is that little correction and tell her no. So when she wants to charge and jump on somebody, the jumping on people, the command is off. There is an off video that is very good and you'll wanna take Gabby to every person in your family and let her try to jump on them and say off. She knows here she couldn't jump on anybody. And that's because we controlled that, again, with the chain. 90% of all your work's gonna be done with a training collar um, right now. Now, if you'll do that two, three times a week for 20 to 30 minutes, you are gonna have a dog that will actually very shortly, in a month or less or two, maybe, you are going to continue to get that dog to do more and more and more of what you saw it do with us. Now. We can, I can get Gabby to do almost anything. Our other trainers can get her to do almost anything most of the time. She still has her moments of non-focus. Um, it's important that you follow through with all the things on the video. If you need any help at all, we're here to help. So please, by all means, let us know. But Gabby needs structure. She needs to be worked with two, three times a week at least and go through 20, 30 minutes of that training. The rest of the time, you don't wanna leave this on her when you're, she's unsupervised. But the rest of the time, she needs to be on a leash a lot, even in the house. Even when you don't really want her on a leash, you have gotta have her on a leash so that she learns, because that transfer, I want you to watch a video, it's on there already in your instructions, but it's key on, on, off leash. I want you to watch that. Hundreds and hundreds of hours were spent getting to that point with Keon. And I just want you to watch that. That's the kind of dog you'll get if you'll do the work of follow through on what's been imprinted in Gabby right now. Thanks so much for having her. She's been wonderful. One more thing to point out, hopefully you'll get a chance to watch this and I'll put it in writing too, but you do need her nails trimmed. Um, we don't normally do that. Um, we could have got out the Dremel, but she would have fought us like crazy. 
I don't know if you've had to sedate her in the past, but she does need her nails trimmed at the vet. So anyway, thank you very much.